Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneurial Finance. Entrepreneurial Finance in Practice. Let's start talking about entrepreneurial finance by looking at what happens in practice. Let's take this example, Facebook. Facebook started with an idea, and this is how all the entrepreneurs basically start. They have an idea, and they would like to realize it. So how to do that? How to realize the whole thing? You probably need money to do that. Sometimes you might not, but also in the Facebook example, you do need money. So what do you do? Well, you can wait, you can look for money, you find people like Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel, a so-called angel investor who invested 400,000 US dollars in 2004 for approximately about 10% of shares and some voting power in Facebook. That gave Mark Zuckerberg the possibility to go from Harvard dorm room where he had to move out to actually build his own company and to have close to a billion users in 2012. What is this about? How do you realize such a product? Well, what we are talking right now is venture capital. Capital that is provided in very early stages to give ideas that have a high potential but also a high risk to chance to start their company. And this is what happened in the Facebook example. However, it is not all about only about money. It is also about, and what I said before, voting rights, for example. So what you do in that case, you dilute your ownership meaning you give away 10% away of the shares, but also you give away at least some voting power, you give away some control at that moment of time. So Mark Zuckerberg, after uh, Peter Thiel came into Facebook, only owned 90% of the company, not, not the 100%. However, it always makes sense if the 90% in the end is much bigger than the 100% before. And um, maybe Peter Thiel also wants to be in, in the corporate governance, so he wants to be a board member, for example, uh, and, and use his voting power there to influence decisions. Um, this is all associated to entrepreneurial finance, but maybe also Peter Thiel had some good ideas to develop the company. This is basically what entrepreneurial finance is about. This is a very typical story. Someone has an idea and he wants to realize the idea with the help of um, capital, and not only capital, but also with the help of like people who can assist him in building his company, who can help him building his company, but who also influence the company, um, have voting power, have own ideas, have own kind of thinking to, to, to develop Facebook the way they want to do that. So summing that up, basically entrepreneurial finance is first of all about financial decision making in very early stages of companies. But there's more to it.